Hi everyone, I've just done quite a long tutorial um, to how to create Kate Middleton's wedding makeup which is the look I've got on now. So as you can see it's very natural, sorry noisy cows outside, um, you've got bubblegum cheeks and lips and then the eyes are sort of um, white and shimmery with a touch of brown and then um, eyeliner which is in brown also and then quite heavy brows. Um, so whilst I was doing my makeup, I let my hair dry naturally, which is why it's a mess. Um, but I'm going to try and recreate her hair. I've never done a hair tutorial video in terms of styling before, so you might have to bear with me on this one. Um, I have got my GHDs, which are great for creating curls, um, a couple of clips to help tie up my hair, um, a brilliant brush by Denman Brushes, um, which is... Um, just really nice at creating gloss um, and a few images on my iPad to try and try to recreate that look. Um, so yeah I've let my hair dry naturally I applied a little bit of the fudge salt spray just from sort of the middle down to create a few natural waves so it's easier to curl later on um, and I, I'm just going to do this in layers and this is the first attempt so well, let's just see how it goes. So I just twist a section of my hair off first and tie that up. Um, and then what you'll find, I mean my hair isn't as long as Kate's, so Kate's is like kind of down to here. So I'm missing quite a lot. Um, but I'm going to recreate best I can. Obviously you can add, add hair extensions. But you'll see from her look that um, it's actually quite straight and it, if you see any pictures of the back that's where it's wavy. I'll just do a quick internet search. Um, Kate Middleton wedding hair. I'm sure there's going to be loads of pictures here. Um, just to try and give you a better idea of what I'm going to try and do. I mean, she stayed similar to the look that she goes for every day. I mean, this is her everyday look. Just bear with me. Um, which is actually quite straight and it's the bottom that's curly. Not so much curly really, but big bouncy waves. Um, but there aren't any great pictures of her hair for the wedding. Um, that's kind of the best you're going to get, I think. So, I'm going to get my brush. Brush the hair. Get the GHG straighteners, start at the top and you're going to smooth down like this and then as you get towards the bottom you're going to turn it all the way around and down and then you're going to get your finger and you twirl it as to how you want it so obviously these will drop a little bit also and this is all I'm going to do so I'll try and be as quick as I can it's not going to be perfect it's just to give you an idea of how to recreate it so you're smoothing it straight and then towards the bottom you just turn it all the way around and down grab your finger at the end. Okay, I'd really recommend this brush. Demon brushes are absolutely amazing. I've sworn by them since I was like 14. Okay, so that's one side. So this is how I do it. I sort of section my hair off into two groups and then split it from one side to the other. Um, and then whenever I've created a curl I kick it to the back so I can see what I've got to do left. Just down and then turn it. Just a few more to do at this side. Down and turn. And the reason I get the thing my finger wrapped around it is it creates the kind of curl that I want and as it's cooling down it sets so your hair only sets when it's cold which is why hair, hair dryers have a cold setting on obviously straighteners don't so just hold it into the twirl you want whilst it cools down Okay, so again trying to create a really straight smooth look and then turn, you sort of turning it in like that. Okay, we'll brush these so they look 
better. And if I had more time, and obviously if it was my wedding day, I'd do them in um, more and more sections so you've got more control. But I just want to do a quick tutorial because my other one was far too long. So this is the second level of hair. What I've done to create the parting is if you just sort of push like that and then get your nails and I've gone in a diagonal side parting because she's got a side parting but if you did sort of straight down like that you're going to have loads of hair at that side and none at this and when you create a diagonal like this it just sort of evens the hair at either side just that little bit more so then I'm going to get I'm just separating the side to the each side like that so I know what I've got to do and then I start from the back and I can feel what hasn't been done grab it brush it and then do the same again so you want a really nice smooth sleek look and then turn it inside and around all the way and then grab your finger just do a little bit more Okay, hopefully this isn't too boring for you. I guess I could have edited the video down but I think it's sometimes really useful to see entirely how I'm doing it. You can then usually see and shake your hair where you haven't been. So the shampoo I use today is by Happy Hair Days which I've talked about on another video which was from Sainsbury's two for a fiver for shampoo and conditioner which is great um, just move on to the other side um, and I used the blueberry and pear which is like a smoothing shampoo and conditioner it's absolutely fantastic like I'm usually quite um, pessimistic if you like when it comes to cheaper brand shampoos and conditioners but these um, are completely sulfate free there's no chemicals or badness in them at all they're really kind to your hair um, and they smell like baby shampoo as well which is adorable so I'm just curling it around twisting my hair so obviously there's a little bit more hair at this side so it might just take a little longer and I tend to start with the top layer to smooth that down so just curl that twist and then I'll just look in the mirror, I can see where the straight bits are. You just If you shake your hair you'll get rid of the, the curls that you've already done. So this is quite a big section but she has actually got really big waves so that's good. Just grab it all, smooth it down and then start to turn near the bottom and turn it and twist. Can you see how I'm just wrapping it around my finger? And twisting okay so then I'm just going to give my hair a little shake to see if I've missed anywhere but as I let it dry naturally and used this salt spray at the ends it created curls anyway so I've just noticed a bit that hasn't been done so I'll just grab that give it a nice brush then it's smooth and the final curl twist Okay, so we've got the bouncy look. Obviously my hair isn't a patch on Kate's. It's lovely, gorgeous chestnut brown and long. Mine's jet black naturally, so kind of hard to see, but it does give great shine. I've also got a fringe and Kate hasn't, so I'm going to try and recreate this the best I can. So uh, following the pattern that I've created, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the fringe bit that I've got instead of going this way and down like I've been doing with the straighteners I'm going to go this way and out, up and out bear with me, I've got a feeling this is going to go horribly wrong but what you should do is make that little bit of fringe just blend in with the rest of the hair but when you go out it just looks better so you're going to twist right from the start That's done what I wanted it to, hopefully you can see that. So it's kind of, rather than you've got a stark line, it's completely blended in with a little bit of a curl. 
okay that's what I wanted it to do um, so I'm going to try and do the same with all this fringe but it's quite thick so I'm going to grab it all and split it in two so I'm going to get the centre bit just clip that out of the way for now and I'm going to try and do the same with this in terms of blending it in so where I'd ordinarily go this way and down I'm going to go at an angle with my hand like this and I'm going to turn it up and out and that didn't work this is the beauty of YouTube videos though so you can see exactly how how sort of natural it is you know I'm not it, you can't get things perfect every single time I'm not sure what's going on with that bit of fringe there let me just get that down with a clip so I'm going to try that again just going to get it like that and I want to smooth it back and turn it in that's it that's better <laughs> okay so you've got like a these are sort of going almost like a 70s look where they're flicking back then you want to get this middle section back again and this needs to create a sweeping look so I'm going to grab it and just gently give it a little bit of a curl and then a lot with my hair as I've got a fringe and it isn't long like hers a lot of this is going to be in the manipulation of it so how I style it okay um, then just going to have a look at her hair so yeah where, whereas I've got quite a thick fringe there hers is all the way which mine won't do but I'm sure most of your hair will do that okay um, and then she's got the big tumbling curls just coming in she has got her hair half up half down also so to do that I just grab a tiny bit like so I tend to twist because it just gives a really nice curled look and then just put a little pin in there and then the same here grab a thicker section twist it push it around and put a little clip in there obviously I haven't got the tiara and the veil either but you can get the look and it's really simple to do so it's it's smooth and straight but you have got a few little curls there and they're all different curls which is the twirling around the finger gives that effect and it's a really really cute effect so I'll just see if you can see all the back so I've just put any old pins in at the moment but obviously if it was wedding hair you'd add a veil and nicer clips I guess um, but yeah, that's um, that's the look the best I can do. I'm certainly no Kate Middleton, um, but I've tried to recreate her look the best I can with the length of hair and the style of hair that I've got. Um, but what really helps create those bouncy curls is Fudge Sea Salt Spray, and it's about £11, £10 or £11, um, and it's absolutely amazing. I'd recommend that. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I um, hope it's been of some help, obviously everyone's hair is completely different, um, but hopefully it's shown you how you can create really sweet little um, little curls as well with GHDs, which are perfect. And that's it. Um, so I hope it's been useful. Leave any comments you've got below um, and any other requests you may have. Let me know and I'll do them for you. Thank you.